it's dark again. And I'm making videos. Another long day, but it's every day's long this time of year. Uh, we're always getting home in the dark. It doesn't matter, it might be a little bit too dark to skate, but I'm gonna head inside and I've got some good plans for tonight anyway. Now we're inside, it's time to get on with the work for the night. I've got two main jobs I wanna do tonight. First one, finish these. So a while back now, um, my flatmate had a pair of docks that were too big for her. Uh, one size too big, which is perfect to make skates out of. And I had a set of plates lying around and I was like, hmm, make some Doc Martin skates for you. I finished one in a big rush. Well, not a big rush, because it turned out to be a real pain in the butt. But then googly eyes became the salvation for that one. So you'll see that a bit later on though. But I've still got one to finish. I finished one and then just basically, eh, kind of lost interest in it. Second job I want to do tonight is finally sit down with my laptop and have a play with this new editing software that Starlord chucked on there for me and see if we can make some better quality videos. But while all that is going on... Yeah, stinky dirty pads. I'm going away in two days for a tournament up in Bundaberg, Skate of Emergency. It's about a um, 13 hour drive up there. But yeah, I think it's 14 games over two days, so it should be a pretty wild weekend. And I'm going up there to ref, so I really should have clean pads since they've spent two days in the back of my car. After a weekend full of skating. Oh, oh, oh. The question I've found that gets asked a lot is how to wash pads. Um, everyone has a different way, I don't know. Whatever works for you, works for you. If you're a bit stuck for ideas, mine's probably the easiest in the entire world. So basically, I throw everything in the washing machine, just like a normal load of clothes, and then I mix up half washing powder and a little splash of Dettol, put it in the wash. Mm. Seems to get rid of the stink, and I swear a lot. Skating in the Aussie summer, you sweat a lot. And the dead hole just seems to keep it fresh for a Two, three, four, five, yeah, that many weeks? I don't know, have a long. I only wash it when they sting. I don't really have a um, time table for it. But that's just my way. Whatever works for you. I will not be restrained. We'll set up at the kitchen table. Ready to start buildy buildy some skates. So I'll do a more in depth video at some point about building a set of customs. Next time we get around doing one, but basic premises, steel plate goes inside there, skate plate goes on the bottom, bolts through, doom, doom, doom. job done. It's a pain now. Anyway, um, the reason these ones have been so difficult and I gave up on them is the tongue stops about here somewhere. Now it's incredibly hard to get a bolt. Down in through there, go through out here somewhere, through the hole, and down through the plate. It's that it had me stumped for a long time and I really got sick of doing it. So what I ended up coming up with is cutting small holes in the top of the shoe, jamming the bolts through, and that's where the googly eyes come into it and they actually seem to add to the skates. Shut down. Googly eyes! So I'm gonna hook in with that one now.
<laughs> so Kalina, who the skates are for, is just in the kitchen cooking and has kindly offered to be quiet for a minute. Isn't she lovely? So that is that. That one finished. That one's the one I already had finished. I'm not gonna bother putting the trucks and gear on it in this video because if you want to see how to do that, check out the video in the link below and that's full instructional about the parts on your skates and how to put it all together and all your hardware. And that's the end of the bit that I know how to do for tonight. It's on to my next job now, which means spending the rest of the night in my editing suite slash bedroom. Yeah. I won't be filming the rest of this because obviously I will have my cameras and whatnot plugged into the computer and also I kind of I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Like, I'm an ex-farmer. Technology's like... Yeah, it, it's not my strong point. We'll go with that, eh? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the rest of the channel for more videos and also check out the link in the description below for the video I worked together the other day on skate maintenance, look at putting your trucks on and off, cleaning bearings, all that sort of stuff. And I will catch you on the next one. Don't wait me up.